Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ninja with Fish and Mac, and in today's video, I am going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Tamiya Panzerkampfwagen 2. So, um, I bought this in Hobbycraft for uh, £10, a uh, very good deal. So, this is a pretty much a, like a small, very small tank, but it's a budget model kit, pretty much. It's very good value, and it's a very good first entry into the um, tank um, scale modeling world and I'm just gonna you know do unboxing review and I'm gonna just show you the parts if you're considering to pick it up you can watch this and you know help with your decision so I'm gonna just take a look at the box first so here you can see by the way sorry that the text is reversed and you can't read it but um, I hope you can see there's an F and a G here that's marking you can either build a F variant or a G variant so um, I'm not entirely sure what's the difference between the two I, I have an idea of what's the difference but um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna build this one because I like the paint scheme of it and speaking of which I'll just show you the main paint um, that you'll need to build, paint this tank because this tank was a pain to find the right paint of it because on the box art it's really hard to tell the color of it but it's um tamia xf um 59 desert yellow paint this is the main body paint for this tank so just if you need to buy paint for it just know you need desert yellow you could use alternatives like humble um but uh, I just learned that Tamiya paints are actually way better than Humble ones and I'm beginning to switch out my paints. So anyway, so on this bit, you can see some writing in Japanese, uh, again, in reverse. And then you have markings here, and of course Tamiya. Again, I really apologize, the text is in reverse, but uh, then on here we have different model kits you can see all the stuff here you can have like tigers you can have tiger two so panthers so yeah tamia has a really big range and i'm beginning to try them out more so yeah anyways without further ado let's flip the box over you see absolutely nothing and oh yeah i forgot to mention on the size just you know basically a compact version of the front so flip over, you can see just plain here. So I'm gonna go with my bobby blade. Again, be very careful with sharp objects such as this. Um, so yeah, here you can see just things here. So just carefully, it's very thick actually, very thick kind of paper. You could also use a box cutter. Which is a higher chance of having. There we go. Two down, two more to go. Just be careful, very careful. It's kind of nice because they're very useful, but again, you have to be careful. And there we go. You can see off the open. Let's just. I'm gonna keep this knife on the side because there's gonna be bags in the kit. So now you can just lift the main thing off. There we go. So you can actually see the tank. That's the top of the hull. Look at that. That's I'm really impressed with how detailed it is. You can see just going lot just so you can put in the turret. That's actually amazing. You have all the textures. This will be amazing when it gets pin washed because here I have my Airfix Zero. You can see how the details are highlighted with a uh, oil wash. And this kind of detail. Whew, it look amazing when it's been washed. So, yeah, the plastic's uh, injection molded in a color that you're gonna paint the tank. So it may be hard to see how well you painted it, but I don't know. I just I don't think it's good to keep the tank in a plastic color. So, that's the top hole. It's not in the bag. Then the bottom. Look at that! Look at that suspension! That's so detailed! Again, this would be absolutely a dream to, you know, add a pin off to. So, actually, this can be motorized. 
so if you you know have some technical know-how and you have the you know urge to make this thing i guess drive you know you can put in batteries and i know some people are so like you know like professional with electronics they can probably make this an rc tank that's insanely cool anyway so I'm just gonna put the two halves of the fuselage together just to roughly see how the fit would be. This is um sorry, I didn't see it, I just noticed. Just like clip it together, like there, like that. Yeah, that's how it would look. So, onto the bag of parts. Now, this model actually, of course, you can't read it, but comes with how many? Five combat crew and a commander. So, that's really good value. That's just really amazing. Good value. You can make a diorama of this, I imagine. If you know how to make a diorama set or have a 3D printer, which I might be getting soon by Christmas. But anyway, so here you can see the bag of parts. So I'm actually gonna use my sprue cutters here. If you want to get sprue cutters, which I highly recommend, just search up wire cutters and they're the same thing. So just get hold of it and there we go. Hop. So, uh, like any model kit, you should definitely wash this in warm, soapy water. So the cement will actually stick, and the paint will also stick, and it will be much, it, trust me, it's like, it's well worth washing your kits in the water. So, just carefully look in the back. And you can see here, this is the decals. So there is, you know, lots of decals, not lots, so why am I saying lots, but there is a handful of decals, but you're barely going to use any because you're, if you're going to do a specific variant, you're just going to use like, what, four of these? Now there is a no-no symbol if you know what I mean on this tank, because this is a German World War II tank, you should, you know what it is, um, so yeah, it's not like airfix, which they would censor it, or just not have it all, so here, you can see what are these? I think these are like pins, rubber details for the road wheels. That's amazing, that's cool. So there's rubber bits. I'm just gonna set this aside. And now let's get onto the good stuff. So this is helmets. So this is this is this tank is fought in the African campaign. I'm guessing this could be a base for the soldiers. You can see that's a M. Yeah, it's a MG34. Very well detailed. Amazing. It's so MG34. And it looks like a MagFed version. And a Car 98. And two MP40s for the crew. Here we have a, two different kind of helmets. So. Some other stuff. So here we have you know, markings. Tanya. These parts are actually very well made. I like these. I like these. I can't wait to build this. I will build this after my current project. This, the P40 Warhawk. This is my current project. It's a very quick one. But... Oh, I also forgot to mention inside the box is two rubber band tracks. So very good quality, very thin, because the Panzer II has thin tracks, you know. Um, you just take a nail, heat up with a lighter, and connect it, and melt it together. So yeah, uh, yeah. So here, here we have um, the crew. Wow. So here we have. No idea what these guys. Oh yeah, this is the guy in the box like, waving his hand like a hand signal. You have four of these for some reason. Nobody knows why, but it's neat. 
have water flasks here. Amazingly detailed. It's amazing. So I know you could just buy resin aftermarket ones, but I think I'm gonna stick with these ones because they're very good. I like them. Okay, here we have like the road wheels. Here we have the actual idler, I'm pretty sure. This is all the road wheels. And this is tank commander, I'm pretty sure. have the turret and that's the barrel and that's the I don't know what I call it the thing that the guns attached to and it goes up and down and here what plastic track oh spare track that would get glued onto the tank in case they lose a bit of track this is the turret again amazing detail um yeah very good detail and the bottom half and I apologize for any background noises but um yeah amazing model I love it and it's so good value it's tenor and hobby craft and they have a 10 a 75 7.5 millimeter I believe um anti-tank gun for the same price I believe that's of a newer tooling that's why it's more expensive and smaller anyways Okay. A decal sheet. I'll just set this aside. And yes. Yeah, now the rubber band tracks. I will probably do a tutorial on how to dry brush tracks of these bad boys. Now we have instructions. So there's Japanese and English instructions. No wait, are they? Oh. I think they're all Japanese. Are they? Yeah, these are all Japanese. So just use Google Translate maybe on these. Yeah. This is just a history basically. So now, this model is decently simple. By decently simple, I mean it's pretty simple. So this is the entire instruction, just kind of fold out. Look at these, so we have the cannon barrels. So here you build the actual tank, shows you the road wheels. Again, I'd recommend using Google Lens and Translate to translate all of this and you have all the commander hatches and detail parts and how you should put it together <laughs> and a little picture of the actual model very cool and on the other side it will be painting instructions for painting the actual figures of uh oh uh oh <laughs> I hope you didn't see that but that's a no no symbol again uh, but you know how to paint them, their medals, how to paint their medals, their helmets, and their colors. These are black and white instructions, so it's kind of a shame. So I'll we'll just fold these up. So this is a very simple kit, but if you're getting started, this is an amazing kit to go with. Of course, I have an airbrush. Brush this bad boy. Much better paint coverage. So here we have the tip sheet. And here we have the plain decals and all that kind of stuff. Oh wait, okay, okay. So I thought there was only Japanese instructions, but there is English instructions here. Okay, so that that helps a bunch. If I were you, I'd just throw away the. Uh, the Japanese instruction so here should be no good you know everything is in English so that's very helpful again I apologize for any background noise that's my dinner being made in the background anyway so here you can see the painting instructions so here you can see different markings and 
and I can see they are actually censored. Oh, no, they are not. But, yeah, you can see what colors you would need. This is in Japanese. Painting instructions in Japanese. Um, I'm not sure there's English painting instructions somewhere, but that's old. That's actually very old. Maybe I did see another one here. Maybe they're folded in with each other? Oh, that was a shame. So, there's English build instructions, but there's only Japanese painting instructions and decals. Oh, Kind of... It's not ideal. Oh yeah, if I were you, I'd just throw away the Japanese instructions. Because you're not going to use them, unless you are Japanese. And you're probably using Translate to watch this video. So here's tips and safety. So yeah, that's uh, the Panzerkampfwagen 2 um, unboxing. So I hope this will help you decide getting this model kit. Me personally, I think this is an amazing place to start. And a really good model even if you're experienced this would be very fun to do so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah i'm just gonna put everything back in the box and do the whole outro thing so yeah see ya okay guys so that's all boxed up again so this um yeah i hope this helped you hope this helped you in deciding if you want to buy this and yeah i would say it's a very fun model Looks like a very fun one to build um, also very interesting topic so yeah anyways if you uh, enjoy these kind of scale modeling videos um, it would be ideal if you liked and subscribe and turn on notifications if any new videos come out so yeah peace out